Walt Disney Once Upon a Winter Time, a little golden book. It was once upon a winter time, a long time ago. Sleigh bells were tingling and runners were twinkling over the sparkling snow. Let, let us go for a ride in the cutter. Come, Jenny, said Joe. So he put a fur robe in the cutter and he hitched up his spanking bays. And Jenny put on her warm little jacket and her mittens, each one with a flower upon it, and a scarf for her chin, and a bonnet and all, and her stout little boots, which were wondrously small. Then away they sped down the country roads between the towering banks of snow. What a fine, crisp, sparkling day it was. On the boughs above them, the snowbirds sang. The cutter's sleigh bells, bells gaily rang, and the sound of them brought the bunnies to the doorway of their oak tree home. What fun, cried the bunnies. Let us go for a sleigh ride, too. So out they jumped, and they rode away, seated on the runners of the speeding sleigh. Soon the road curved down close beside the pond, stretching smooth as glass to the woods beyond. Joe drove up with the horses so smart and nice. And they sat and looked at the snarkling ice. Oh, let's skate, said Jenny. Fine, said Joe. So out they hopped and in a trice. Their skates were fastened. They were on the ice. Joe was a star, and he loved to show Jenny the way the real skaters go, swooping and sliding and gracefully gliding from side to side on the ice. On his swift, twinkling skates, he did fine figure eights and even nines, or valentines. Jenny clapped her hands at the wonderful show, but oh, whoa, she tripped on her toes. Down she goes. Now, Joe could not help it. He started to smile, and it grew to a chuckle after a while. That made Jenny furious. She got to her feet, and her face was as red as freshly scrubbed beet. She spun on her heel, and she skated ahead so fast that she never saw a sign that said danger, thin ice. Crunch, crack, went the ice, and before Joe's eyes, it broke into pieces, and Jenny cries came back to him on the wintry air. Joe couldn't reach Jenny standing there because her ice chunk was floating down faster and faster toward the town and there were falls in the river ahead, steep rocky rapids. Joe sprang to the rescue. He raced down the bank. He tried to reach Jenny's ice cake with a plank, but that did not work. The birds and the, the bunnies were all worried, too. They fluttered and chattered and wondered what to do. The horses stood ready to help if they could, and now Joe had a plan that was really good. 
He jumped to the sleigh at his whistle. The team raced off through the snowdrifts. Behind them, Joe made a loop in his reins like a cowboy's rope at the rodeo. He coiled the lasso. He let it fly, but just as it left his hand, oh my. Head over heels, over toes went Joe, plunkety thud in a bank of snow, and the rope missed Jenny. Now what to do? Joe couldn't help her. He was through until he could dig himself out. But the birds came swooping down through the air and picked up the rope and lying there. While the bunnies tied one end to Joe, who was still heels up in the bank of snow, the birds flew to Jenny on the ice. The rope dropped around her neat and nice. Then horses and bunnies and snowbirds all pulled Jenny back away from the falls up the stream and into the pond that still stretched away to the woods beyond. Back came Jenny and there was Joe and they never knew how she happened to be off the ice and back under the tree. The birds and the bunnies never told. The horses stampered their feet with the cold and rattled their bells and, and shook the sleigh as if they were thinking, let's be on our way. So in hopped Jenny and after her Joe, he cracked his whip and cried, let's go. Oh, the snowbirds wobbled sweetly and the horses neighed and the bunnies hopped aboard again for they were not afraid. And away they all went merrily across the frosted snow, once upon a winter time long, long ago.